Oh, Winnie the horse chandler. Okay, I love Winnie the horse chandler. God, just exposure for the horse girl. I really am. Um, as if you couldn't tell. As if the vibes were not immaculate in the horse girl arena already. So while cleaning my mom's house, my sister found like four boxes of books. And I thought it would be interesting to see what was in there because these are clearly books that have been boxed up since I got married. And that was six and a half years ago. Um, so these are probably not my favorite books by a long shot. But they still might be worth looking at, like seeing what I decided wasn't coming with me uh, into married life. I do know, that you're very cute, that this box here is old and like antique books because the ladies who used to live in my parents house um back in the 1920s 1930s they had um a library in an upper closet and there are a lot of old books in there and so me and my husband before we got married had just spent a day in there pulling out books so i'm gonna go through those first because i know that's what's in that box um but i don't know what's in these other ones so i'm very interested to see we're gonna unbox them together for as long as certain little boys will let me and uh we'll see we'll see what's in there you're very cute hi this is me from uh later much later it's been about oh my god a week since i filmed the majority of this video i decided uh while i was thinking about editing that it was going to be too obscenely long to do the entire unboxing of the mystery boxes in one video um it took long enough just to do the regular books let alone the really old books so i'm actually going to take out the clips of me opening the antique rare like old books and put them in another video either by themselves or i will also show you my current old books in that one i haven't decided yet but either way this is just going to be sort of the regular books and not the old antique ones it should still be pretty long and interesting uh <laughs> There's some interesting books in there, um, and I'd say some things that might be kind, kind of controversial based on the books that I was giving away, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, and cut to the material you actually get to see today and the unboxings that you will be watching. Yeah, very articulate this morning. I think this box came from this house, and by from this house, I mean up in the attic where my aunt kept all of her books, and she really had a thing for thrillers and like those really cheesy kind of exploitive um, mystery thriller true crime novels of the 1970s I don't know if she was on a subscription or what have you but a lot of the books that I've gotten that are in that vibe that were already here or were up in that part of my attic which full disclosure we cleaned that a couple weeks ago and there's like nine boxes of books along with two bookshelves because that's the kind of problem I need in this house like currently we're we're running low on books Anyway, I don't know if this is her box of books or if this is my box of books. And I will not know until I reach in here and figure it out. Because I knew one of the one of the boxes here on the top was hers, I think. It's been a while, you know, and I'm getting old. Okay, this is Black Beauty, so no, this is probably my box. Um, we have Black Beauty, a horse called Bonnie, a uh, big horse girl energy. Uh, in this box, I'm seeing. <laughs> we got the Pony Pals. Did anyone else read the Pony Pals? Am I weird? This was the series I grew up on. I wasn't allowed to read Harry Potter and like uh, Animorphs, even though I did read Animorphs. But I wasn't allowed to read Harry Potter because he was the devil. But my God, I had every book for the Pony Pals. They were my thing. Uh, oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, okay. So Pony Pals. Um. Oh, we got Shiloh. So we got Saving Shiloh, Shiloh Season, and Shiloh with a movie cover. And I think I have Shiloh. I'm looking at my kid's shelf. I think I have Shiloh, but I don't know if I have the sequel and the, the third book either. But, um, oh, Winnie the Horse Chandler. Okay, I love Winnie the Horse Chandler. God, just exposure for the horse girl. I really am. Um, as if you couldn't tell. As if the vibes were not immaculate in the horse girl arena already. Um, Winnie the Horse Chandler is a Christian horse girl series and I had every book I had every book her name was Winnie she had a friend named Cat who had cats she had a friend named Barker who had uh, dogs and her sister's name was Lizzie and she liked reptiles listen it was very basic and I loved it there's just horses horses 
Anyway, oh, I don't know what's going to happen to those books. I can't stay here. Speaking of horses, it's more of them. Uh, Misty of Chicoteague. I actually have a really nice copy of that uh, over here, an old version that I got from the library um, when they sold, they did like a sale on the old covers. And so I got this one, and this is the cover I can remember reading every single year. Every year I went to the beach, we went to check out books from the library before we went on our vacation. That way I would have something to read. And I would always get this book. Or it would be one, there's like a horse called Leopard or a horse called Dragon or something like that. And I would just read those interchangeably. But this book, um, I clearly needed multiple copies. So, horses just... Okay, let's see what's next. I'm just going to grab a handful and we're going to piece through them. Oh, cool. Um, Among the Imposters. That's the Among the Hidden series. I started that, and, and I, I liked the first one, but not enough to continue the series at the time. I did read it in middle school. Um, Bunicula starts again, or Buncula, whatever, who, however you pronounce it. It's it's about the bunny, dra like, vampires, uh, and it's like the sequel, or whatever. Um, the Black Stallion, again, horses. Oh, the Spirit series that I never finished. Um, when Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron first came out and I was obsessed, they had a book series that Walmart had that started with Bonita and then it had Sierra and then you had Esperanza, who is Spirit's mom, and then Spirit. But I never owned the Esperanza book, so I actually might just buy that and keep these in the house for, like, a kid one day. These are actually really good books. Um, but, yeah, oh, man, that takes me back. Uh, we also have Heartland, and I never read them. I never read them. I, because I'm not interested in the drama. You know, I'm interested in the horses. I'm in it for the horses. And then we have two more in here. We have Chicken Soup for the Pet Lover's Soul and Captain Call Birdie, which I think I actually own. Um, if I don't own this, I definitely have yep, Captain Call Birdie right there. Um, so this is the second copy of that. I will probably put this in a classroom library because this is good for uh, high school readers. Not everyone reads at a high school level in high school. And so I read this in middle school, but it would probably still be good for like ninth and 10th graders. Um, wow, that's a lot of horse books. Okay, this box is like literally crunching when you try to grab at it. So this is probably my aunt's books. So I can imagine they're going to go straight back in here and out of my house. Not a lot of these are something I'm interested in. Uh, see, like the lawless. Like who gives a shit? What? Who cares? That's volume seven. I'm not going to read. Oh, no. Visions of Isabel. That looks like it's probably problematic. Um, She's a Cop, Isn't She? By Police Officer Irene King and Detective Carol Thurman of the New York City Police Department. What is this? Okay. It's a book written by the police officer? Okay, I'll look into that. That looks stupid. Uh, the Hunter. I don't care. Um... The Agony and the Ecstasy. That's worth keeping almost for the cover alone. Look at this shit. What? God, it's such it's such 60s and 70s nonsense. Um, the Legacy of Al Capone. Crown in Candlelight. Looks like it's probably also problematic. Woo! That cracked. Um, it's got a big old family tree in here, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, the President's Mistress. Oh, shocking. The Man with No Shadow, um, The Flight of the Falcon by Daphne, Daphne du Muir, so we're probably actually going to keep that. <laughs> uh, Solomon's Palace, never heard of it. And then, that's it. There's just a thing of uh, stick on tattoos in there. That's it. Um, so, no, I'm not going to keep any of those books. Like, those are leaving my house immediately. Besides, like, the two that I pulled off. But that's it. Okay, I know you're really not going to be able to see this box because of the angle that I'm filming at, but that can't be helped. Um, I'm just going to hold stuff up as I get to them. I think these are really random. Um, in fact, I've got some more I want to add to this. Give me one second. I found these books sitting on top of this box in my old bedroom, and I know that they were out separately because they are not my books. Um, they belong to friends who let me borrow them to read, and then I didn't. So I have The Black Prism by... Brent Weeks, which I actually have a copy of that on my shelf that I own now, so that needs to go back to whatever friend I borrowed it from. Forget You, which I think actually came from Gina. Oh, hi, Gina. Um, Sirena, 
who belongs to my other friend who watches booktube but doesn't watch my videos and wings of the morning that belongs to that same friend and then last is uh inklings and i think again same friend gonna have to get up with her at some point because uh those aren't my books i also have three dust jackets that have no books attached so maybe i'll find the books in this box i have new moon which I actually no is on my shelf so this specifically goes over there uh delirium by lauren oliver and sisters red um which i don't remember owning and buying and reading it was 15 dollars, so i must have really wanted it oh i know a lot of what's in here okay one year when we went to the state fair i think it actually was the last year i ever went to the state fair so that would have been in 2012 um they gave away free romance books romance and mystery await you between the covers enjoy this free book by bj daniels crime scene at cardwell ranch right and i'm not opposed to romance novels so i was like cool i'll take it um except they gave out at least three of them suckers and i think i might have more um and i can only read one at a time so the hot giveaway no you don't i don't you don't want that book anyway um let's see we also have stephen Koontz, the black dark Zone, something like that um oh here's the book they gave us when we graduated streams in the desert for graduates didn't read that god's little devotional book for teens oh fun no i'm good uh this is one that i think i have a weird um relationship with impossible by nancy Worland. it's not bad but the entire concept borders on the idea of this girl basically being sexually assaulted and just being pregnant through the novel and i'm not opposed to that either like pregnancy doesn't mean you can't do badass things but it's a really weird concept and i think i read it when i was too old to actually appreciate the concept you get to be young enough to be like that's still romantic it's kind of weird for me but anyway that's impossible it's a it's a um the song scarborough fair like our, you know make me this do do this and like this fairy king is like punishing this gen these generations of women because one woman like spurned his advances it's anyway oh becca by the book this book is awful it's a it's christian fiction a lot of christian fiction can fall into that category of just plain awful um love from london wait a minute I've been trying to remember this book that I read a long time ago that has two different um, stories in it. One about a girl who's currently in London and one about, like, her relative that lived in the past. And I can never remember what the actual title is and what it's about. I don't remember this. Uh, maybe I'll reread it if I feel like living my, um, my teenage days over again. What is this one? Infinite Days. This is a really bad vampire novel. I'm telling you, most of the books in this box were ones that I was going to get rid of. Like, before I got married, I was like, mm, don't want these. So, Infinite Days is a bad vampire novel, you know, when all those kind of knockoffs were coming out. Chloe, Queen of Denial. I actually do kind of like this one. Um, and it's really silly. And there's another, there's another one that's like a duology. So, you see the other half of this and the girl on the other side. It's about her. Um, January James. I think it's about January James. Um, but anyway, I, I read like little cheesy things like this when I got older. You know, old enough that I didn't want to read Misty. Uh, of Chickatigue anymore, and I read these instead. Are you just going to play in the box? That's fine. That's probably fine. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. I knew I didn't like that book, like, after I read it. So, uh, wherever the jacket is for that, it's still leaving my house. Dawn of Fear. I don't know. Oh, God. Divergent. No, that's not right. I'm kidding. I actually really like Divergent until the very end, but I don't agree with killing people just for killing people's sake and like shock value. I think it's really stupid. Um, and I'll probably put this in my classroom library. Some poor kid will pick it up and read it, I guess. Um, the Boy Book by E. Lockhart and Anatomy of a Boyfriend, which taught me about things I didn't know about in high school. So there's that. Uh, it wasn't exactly the best book, but it was very, um, it was very interesting what it talked about. And the uh, the boy book I don't remember. So that's gonna go right over here with the other teenage books that I don't remember. Immortal. I think that's another, that's another vampire-ish book, right? Right? Something. Yeah. A Sebastian, a mysterious and attractive young man she meets by chance. I'm too old. I'm just too old. 
Okay, chicken soup for the teenage soul. The real deal. That's not. School, cliques, classes, clubs, and more. When was this published? Yikes. 2005. I'm so old. Ooh, Alice Hoffman, Indigo. This is weird. I don't remember disliking it, but I, don't, I remember being disappointed. Like, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So, I might keep that or put it in the classroom library. I don't know. I have an audience. You have to be quiet. You have to come in here. You have to be quiet. Okay. It started with a dare, which I don't remember, and is definitely not staying in the house. Because he lives. There's like three devotionals in here. There's like three devotionals. I don't know that I needed that much help. Magic under glass. Why don't I have jackets for any of these books? This one is about um, an automaton coming to life. It's about like a fake person. So I was on to my AI shit way back in high school. This is Hush Hush. Awful, terrible book. Um, problematic when it came out. Still problematic. Oh, God. <laughs> this is going to be controversial. Because I have in here in my giveaway box. And I know that's what it was. It was a box of books I was not going to keep. The City of Bones. And City of Glass. I don't know what the second book is. I couldn't tell you. If it's in here, it's it's hidden from me. Um, But I... These are not good. All of you are pretending they're good. And they're not good. It's Harry Potter fan fiction. And it's not good. It's not good. Don't laugh at me. I'm serious. People love this series. It's not good, and Cassandra Clare is awful. Why do you stand? I don't get it. That is the tea for today. Um, Generation Dead, it's about zombies. It wasn't good enough to pick up the sequel, but um, someone might like it. Um, I also have Vampire Diaries. There's the sequel. There is. There's. There it is. There it is. Book two, City of Ashes. Um, Vampire Diaries. I kind of like these. I never finished it. Uh, Magic Can Be Murder, which is clearly a library book that I stole from either middle school or high school, and then. White Witch, Black Curse. Don't know what this is. Don't know where I got it. Not gonna, not gonna read it. Um, that's it. That's all the books that I have. Um, I think there's at least one more box of books I actually want at my mom's house. Um, because I know I have the entire series of unfortunate events somewhere in that house. And I don't know where they are. So that has been fun. Um, this is gonna be a really long video for like no reason. But, um, but anyway, thank you for watching it. Thank you, thank you. You know, do you, if you like any, have you read some of these weird YA books? Let me know. Bye.